What's going on guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. So this past weekend, I went to the Denver Car Show. This was my second time ever going to the Denver Car Show. The first time I went was pretty good. They had about 100 tables at the first car show, but this time they had almost 2.5 times as much. They had 240 tables. It was a two day car show, Saturday and Sunday. So I had such a good time last time. I decided to set up this time at this past weekend. Personally, I knew this was gonna be big Pokemon card show since the last time I went majority of my deals for Pokemon so I brought 80% of my inventories for Pokemon to this show past weekend so here are my pro and con for this past weekend car show in Denver Colorado let's start with the pro pro everybody was so nice I don't know what it is about Denver, but I feel like a lot of the people were nicer. Uh, yeah, I think people at Denver are pretty nice, they're pretty honest, so that's pretty cool. The gentleman that's running this car show, uh, he puts the audience, the customer first. He doesn't charge an admission fee for the audience, so it's free for everybody to come in. Uh, he has tree nights where he gives free food, free pizza, free soda, free waters. And on Sunday, he even give up free breakfast burritos, uh, which is pretty cool. I've never heard of a car show supplying free food for people and it's a free car show. So that is really cool. I do a little bit of everything, sport cards collectibles, Pokemon cars, TCG, video games, whatever. So this show had a pretty decent sized Pokemon community. So a lot of Pokemon uh, were at the show and 80% of my deals this weekend were all Pokemon related. So for me, I liked it. So that was a pro for me. So let's go to the cons. So the con are, in my opinion, the show was a little bit too big uh, compared to the last one because the last one only had a hundred tables. It was in a different venue, same location, just a different room. The lighting was a lot better and the other one was smaller. It was a hundred tables, so everything felt a little bit more compact, similar to the first ever Burbank car show. Uh, the second venue is definitely bigger, probably two to three times the size of the last room, but the lighting was a little bit dim. It was a little bit, it, the lighting wasn't terrible, but it was a little bit darker. And I feel like there was just too many vendors and the money was just spread out too, too thinly, in my opinion. Another con is since they don't charge people commission fee, and they're really nice and treat people pretty good uh like the customers they have a bar right in the middle of the venue and outside they have food trucks where people can buy food and bring it in to eat and they have tables about five tables there each table has about 12 to 15 chairs right for people to sit eat and stuff like that which is awesome but people take advantage of that. So guys, I see guys who sit there, take out their cars and lay it out on the table and they will make deals there, buying, trading, selling cards for free. So as a vendor, I'm paying $300 or whatever um, for the table in the cases. I'm flying in, which is 400 bucks. I'm buying hotel rooms for the weekend, $300 my expenses to travel, I'm already down a thousand dollars just to come to this show to be a vendor and set up. But letting, having those type of tables there for people to use for free, which is really nice. Yes, it's really nice. But essentially they are getting to set up as a vendor for free. And they're staying venue, everything for free. And it's taking away customers for other vendors 
and you know if they're sitting there with like five guys and doing deals there that's five less people that are out there doing deals with vendors uh so my opinion i i didn't really like that um but as like an audience point of view it's really awesome but as a vendor that pays to come there and set up i prefer that wouldn't happen again but i know i know they were still gonna have it because they just need room for people to sit and eat it's just a few guys take advantage of the system and just kind of ruin it for everybody so those are some of my pros and cons so far so my thoughts on this car show is i think it was good for pokemon sport card wise i think it might be a little too big and too competitive uh in my in my personal opinion so I was, uh, I was, they put me all the way in the back of the room, uh, in the whole entire row where I was set up at against the wall in the back. We had a lot of guys that are doing the same thing that I do. Like I see them at pretty much every, other, every shows I go to, uh, they travel around, they buy and sell cars like me. So, so, uh, you guys heard Carmon, he was on my left, literally like right next to me. Divine Card was in my right. Uh, another gentleman that was doing YouTube as well was also on my right. So I felt like they put us flippers, influencers, uh, hustlers, sharks, whatever you guys want to call us, in the same role as each other. Um, we didn't book our tables together. So that was kind of odd that I don't think it's a coincidence that all of us were in the same exact row next to each other literally next to each other so i think they purposely put us together like that which is kind of odd i don't know why they did that um uh, yeah but overall i did pretty good uh at this show because of pokemon 80 percent of my duels today were pokemon uh, I got my first ever black label, BGS10 pristine black label, right here. And it was a Pokemon card, and I'm very happy about that. I had one big sport card deal that came to my table that saved my weekend for sport cards. Uh, it's right here. All right, guys, finally we made a deal for some sport cards. First sport card buy today. So I'm picking up these slots, came to my table. Gentleman was nice enough to work with me. Pretty good deal. Awesome. For $560. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't know. Uh, I was looking around. I was kind of busy the whole, uh, pretty much Saturday from, so the show opened at 10 o'clock for the customers to come in. And from 11 to three, I was pretty much swarmed the whole time. Uh, but from, uh, but after three, everything kind of died down. It was uh, it was pretty weird. Uh, the show ended at five and from five to 10, it was tray night. Uh, tray night was pretty cool. It was in the original room that had the homer table. Lighting was amazing. It was pretty nice. Uh, they gave out free pizza, free food for everybody. It was free to come, which is really nice, of course. I also want you to watch the Denver Nuggets and the Phoenix Suns play. My <laughs> first time watching the Suns, uh, first time watching Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, which was pretty cool. It was a last minute decision and I guess I'm glad I went. But back to the show. Um, Carmon was on my left. He was probably at his table for about two hours the entire weekend. He's he set up everything, his buying sign, all that stuff, but I don't know. I think uh not a lot of people came to his table to buy or to sell cars to him. So he was just walking around the whole entire weekend. I think he did pretty good walking around. Uh he said he did better walking around than setting up at the show. Uh, which was surprising because the first car, uh, the first time I went to Denver, he sat up and it looked like he was doing very well setting up at the first car show. So 
it was kind of shocking to hear that he didn't, you know, do that while well sitting, but he went around buying buying cars from a whole bunch of other vendors around and he said it was pretty good, so good for him. But yeah, when I looked around, uh, when I wasn't busy, I looked around, people around me were, they weren't really busy, to be honest with you. A lot of people were just sitting there watching me, so I don't know. The next Denver car show is in June, and it's going to be a three-day car show, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Supposedly, it's going to be 400 tables plus. I don't know uh, about that because I think the same exact weekend, there's two other big car show, the Gentilly Virginia car show and the Long Beach California car show. So three big car shows that same weekend. I was planning to go to this next car, sh uh, Denver car show in June, uh, but I don't know yet. I haven't booked anything yet. My friends and I are on a, a waiting list for Chantilly, Virginia. So if we get a table at Chantilly, we are definitely going to Chantilly. Uh, but if not, we might we might think about going to Denver because it's just a because uh, if we go to Chantilly, we can drive there and bring more inventory. But Denver, we would have to fly and we won't be able to bring as much inventory uh, <clears throat> for Denver and. Personally, for me, Pokemon was great, but for my friend that comes to Denver, they're mostly sport cards. So I don't know if I want to tell them that Denver was really good, but they come and sport cards wise was kind of stale. And since they can't bring a lot of their inventory, it's gonna be a little tough for them. But overall, this is a very good Pokemon card show. And Everybody's really nice. Hopefully, I can come back again. Um, from a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best show I've ever had was the Nationals. 1 was like the worst show I've ever had. I'll probably put this show at around a 6.5 to 7. I did very good. Pokemon cards. Uh, sport cars, I did okay. A lot of cards I should have been selling, but I didn't. Uh, I actually didn't do anything at trade night, but I was only there for like an hour. So this past weekend at the Denver Car Show, I was so surprised that so many people came up to me. I say about a good five to 10 people came up to me and saying they watched my videos, asked for sticker. It was so amazing, so cool. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I had a gentleman came to my table and asked to take a picture of me. That was my first time ever experiencing that. So very, very cool. Always appreciate it, guys. So anytime you guys see me at car shows or anything, please come say hi. Uh, if you guys want, I can give you stickers, you know. I really, really appreciate you guys watching my videos and you know what? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. My name is Kenny. I go by GM Fire Red or GM Fire, whatever you guys want to call it. It's fine. Here you go. Next time, if you guys ever see me at a car show, come say hi. I'll give you guys a sticker. Thank you so much for watching my video. Fire out! If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, like and comment down below. It really helps me grow. Thank you so much. And please follow me on Instagram and TikTok at GMFIRED. Thank you so much. See you next time.